Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I shall address the throttle stop blue screen of death issue that a few of you guys mentioned in the comment box. So let's get started. The blue screen of death, or BSO, can occur for a lot of reasons, which in our case are caused by overclocking beyond our hardware's physical capability. If it happens, don't worry, nothing is going to happen. <laughs> Restart your PC after the blue screen and do not open the throttle stop application again as it will cause the PC to crash again. Open Windows Explorer and head to the folder where you installed or placed your throttle stop application. Here you will see a .config or configuration file. Right click it and delete it. After that, restart your PC again. After restarting, open the throttle stop application again. You should get a default warning screen, which would mean that all of your settings have returned to factory defaults, which you can verify yourself. The default settings should be something like this. The core multiplier should be at 27 or 28 and TDP should be at 130 watts. Your default settings can be a bit different from mine, so don't worry if that's the case. To prevent it again, I would recommend just keeping the core multiplier at 30 and the maximum TDP at 180 watts. There we go, as simple as that. I hope this video helped you. For more useful tutorials like this, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you get notified when I release more interesting tutorials like this. In my next video, I will be upgrading an old HP laptop and trying to get the maximum performance out of it. Thanks a lot for watching.